All right, again, Donald Mo. thanks for the honor of uh, presenting our data. Uh, standard disclosure, this was also funded by the 7-11th Human Performance Wing of the Air Force, and we uh, otherwise have no disclosures. Uh, as described earlier by my colleague, the acute coagulopathy of trauma uh, results from acute blood loss, tissue factor release, acidosis, hypothermia, and hemodilution. And as a result, you see increased blood loss and increased transfusion requirement, increased morbidity, and a twofold increase in mortality. Uh, the current uh, approach requires whole blood or whole blood equivalent transfusion, uh, but an alternate approach has been uh, proposed largely in Europe uh, where you utilize fibrinogen concentrate instead of cryoprecipitate, uh, prothrombin complex concentrates instead of fresh frozen plasma. It's usually guided by thromboelastometry or point of care tests, and it's currently the subject of ongoing trials. Uh, the impact of fibrinogen has been pointed out in these studies. Uh, since it's the fundamental uh, substrate of hemostasis, it can be depleted rapidly following injury, and its early replacement is also the subject of ongoing clinical trials in Europe. Uh, and Abed all described the impact of this in the setting of a massive transfusion, where there's a stepwise increase in mortality with decreasing fibrinogen levels on uh, ICU admission in patients receiving a massive transfusion. Uh, so what is prothrombin complex concentrates? I'm sure most people have used them. It's a freeze-dried, uh, purified uh, complex uh, from cryoprecipitate of pooled plasma, uh, originally intended for the treatment of inborn coagulation defects, currently applied to the emergent reversal of oral anticoagulants. The compositions vary by manufacturer. They're standardized by their concentration of factor 9. Three-factor products generally have high levels of 2, 9, and 10, variable levels of factor 7, whereas four-factor products will have all of the vitamin K-dependent factors. The military re relevance, again, the whole blood uh, is, is currently the standard of care, but it presents incredible logistical uh, difficulties, especially plasma. Uh, it's tough to bring the benefit of a whole blood transfusion to the point of injury, uh, whereas concentrate therapy is a commercially available product, it potentially an extended shelf life. It's low volume of administration, less dilution. Uh, it can be carried by a medic in a backpack, uh, and it's currently proposed for use in remote uh, damage control resuscitation, where these soldiers may be far removed from the benefits of a blood, ba um, blood bank for hours. Uh, so our objectives uh, to evaluate PCC in the uh, setting of shock physiology, which it really hadn't been exposed to so far in clinical trials, uh, look at its effect on the factor levels, global coagulation, look for adverse effects, and compare the three and the four factor products. So this is now a very well-described model. Um, again, 35% volume hemorrhage, 45-minute supraceliac aortic cross-clamp uh, with weaning over five minutes, because otherwise they uh, have hemodynamic collapse, and then six hours of protocolized resuscitation. In this iteration, they received their 45-unit uh, per kilogram dose of PCC at four hours, uh, with factor levels drawn before administration, then at six hours or at expiration, whichever was first. 30 animals were used. Five were controls, uh, 17 were randomized between three and four factor, uh, uh, nine were to three factor, which was Profil9, uh, eight were to four factor, which was K-Centra. We noticed a much higher than expected rate of uh, consumptive coagulopathy, so our IACUC actually authorized an additional eight animals to receive two unit equivalents of autologous plasma created from the hemorrhaged blood uh, to receive prior to the PCC to assess the impact of increased fibrinogen at the time of administration. So at the time of PCC delivery, they were uh, consistently acidotic, uh, pH of 7.2, lactate of 9.6, anemic with a hematocrit of uh, 16 for context. The pigs started out around 25 to 27. Uh, PT of 15.5, depleted fibrinogen, low platelets relatively. And we are, there we go. Uh, so again, the consumptive coagulopathy. It's been described before with PCC use in porcine uh, studies. For our purposes, we defined it by a fibrinogen less than 60 a greater than 50% decrease in platelet count, and a prothrombin time greater than 25 seconds by the end of the model. Uh, <clears throat> no animals within the control group developed this uh, syndrome. Uh, Two-thirds of the animals receiving three-factor PCC developed a consumptive coagulopathy, and a quarter of animals receiving a four-factor PCC developed consumptive coagulopathy, uh, whether or not they had received autologous plasma uh, prior to the PCC. Shock physiology uh, appeared to play a major role as those animals developing consumptive coagulopathy had significantly lower temperatures, were significantly more acidotic, uh, and were significantly more uh, coagulopathic at the time of PCC administration. 
The impact of fibrinogen was also evaluated by creating normalized groups uh, similar to the groups of Inaba et al. We had 66 animals that we utilized to create uh, normal lab values and used similar cutoffs. Um, all the animals within the critical group at the time of PCC administration developed a uh, consumptive coagulopathy, whereas just over 41% of those animals in the uh, low group did, and none within the normal group developed consumptive coagulopathy. Uh, you can see the effect on global uh, coagulopathy here. Uh, the control animals uh, that did not develop uh, consumptive coagulopathy on the left have a steady increase in their prothrombin time uh, over the course of the final two hours of the model. Uh, following the administration of PCC, all uh, experimental animals had a significant improvement of their uh, coagulation parameters, but this uh, lost its significance by the end of the model, signifying a transient improvement. Not shockingly, the animals that developed a consumptive coagulopathy skyrocketed up in their uh, coagulation tests, whereas you can see uh, the controls remained relatively stable. Uh, this trend carried true for PTT as well. In terms of the building blocks of coagulation, the fibrinogen levels of the control animals in uh, yellow on the left remained relatively stable throughout the final two hours. Following the administration of PCC, there was a steady and significant decline in fibrinogen levels in all these animals. Uh, <clears throat> and that is exaggerated in those animals who uh, received uh, or who developed a consumptive coagulopathy. In terms of the individual factor levels, all three products did a good job, or three factor, four factor, and four factor with plasma all did a good job of repleting uh, factor two. The stars signifying significance because the asterisks did not show up well. Um, and those animals not developing consumptive coagulopathy on the left. The animals on the right, uh, the right two columns, uh, before and after, also demonstrated a significant increase in uh, their factor two levels with a four factor PCC and a trend towards an improvement with the three factor product despite uh, being in a consumptive coagulopathy. That trend continued uh, for factor 10 as well uh, with all animals who did not develop consumptive coagulopathy had uh, improvement of their levels, uh, whereas the three and four factor animals had improvement in the trend in the four with PCC and those that did develop a consumptive coagulopathy. So in summary, no control animals developed this consumptive coagulopathy. A quarter of those who received the four-factor product did so, as did two-thirds of those who received three-factor. Uh, correlated with the physiology and fibrinogen levels, with 100% of those animals within the critical fibrinogen level uh, developing this consumptive coagulopathy. In the absence of this uh, syndrome, it produced only a transient improvement in their coagulopathy and yet a depletion of fibrinogen platelets. So limitations, it's an animal model, these are pigs. It's not a survival study, it's non-blinded. It was a controlled venous hemorrhage, there was no bleeding, uh, and there was no tissue analysis to look for uh, products of DIC or microthrombi. Uh, so in conclusion, PCCU should be cautioned in severe shock and coagulopathy. It uh, provided no lasting correction of coagulopathy and had a significant risk of a consumptive coagulopathy, uh, especially the three-factor product with greater than two-thirds or two-thirds of the animals developing this uh, syndrome. Uh, so prior to utilizing PCC, we would recommend repleting fibrinogen, documenting a normal fibrinogen level, or using thromboelastic guidance. Thank you. <laughs>